Backlit. <laughs> Hi everybody, at Skating PJ here with the legendary Sandra Bezik. Okay, entrepreneur, choreographer, skating diva. Honestly, what diva. haven't you done? <laughs> Absolutely diva. <laughs> so I want to talk to you specifically about this great new project you're involved in, the Skate Niagara Skating Show? Did I say it right? Skate, uh, Skate Niagara Ice Show. Okay. It's uh, January 30th at uh, the St. Catharines New Meridian Centre. It's a brand new building, gorgeous building, five, 6,000 seat arena and it's uh, we're really excited to be the first figure skating show there. What I'm really excited about is the cast. Yes. Tell me about yes. it. Yes, we have a terrific cast and you it sure really do. is, it's a hand-picked cast of skaters past, present and future and some interesting people as well. Um, we've got of course Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. Who? And, and, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Kurt Browning, Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poje. Um, Katya Gordieva is coming, Nan, Nam Nguyen is coming, um, and we also have uh, Nexus, which I'm really excited about because I've never worked with synchro skaters before. And world and, top and, level. And, well, yes, exactly. I mean, I, I feel so fortunate to be working with the best team in the world, and I've already learned so much from them. Um, we also have, who else do we have? We have, oh, well, we have a, a, a unique act, actually, one that um, came to my attention, and uh, I thought it would be intriguing to work with them. They're called Flying on Ice, Mary Acevedo and uh, Alfonso Campa, and he was born in Mexico to a circus family that happened to have ice at their circus. She was an Argentinian competitor, and um, together they found each other and have created this act, this aerial act, they're pair skating aerial artists. They're currently right now performing in Paris and, and uh, Abu Dhabi and they've performed all over the world. They've never performed in, in Canada or the US and so uh, they, they will be joining us and um, that's really uh, exciting to me. And then finally we have Kristen Moore Towers whose hometown is St. Catharines with her new partner Michael Marinero and this will be the first time that she's had an opportunity to perform for her friends and family. <laughs> well, it's so much fun that we're sitting out, not sitting, we're standing out you know, here in, in the cold, in, the in freezing Canada. Cold, yes. <laughs> um, but a skating show is all about yeah. sort of that warmth that comes through from the ice. What is the thing that you wanted to accomplish with this show? You've done so many things. You Battle of the Blades, Stars on Ice. I mean, really, what haven't you been involved well, with? Well, with this, I wanted to, I wanted to stretch. For me personally, working with Nexus, working with the aerial artists, uh, I've never worked with Tessa and Scott. Um, and Nam, bringing in Nam as sort of counterpoint to Kurt and sort of combining um, different like seasoned show skaters with, with current competitors with show skating and then the synchroni synchronized skating, I thought that that would be an exciting combination that isn't just about competitive skating, it's about performance and all the different things that you can do on the ice. What's exciting for me too is that the fact that it's not being televised, uh, that does away with a whole bunch of Challenges. Hassle, challenges and yeah, hassles absolutely. and, and regulations and because we could I wanted to work with Nexus I wanted to bring them on to, on to um, Battle of the Blades and, and we never could just because of Actra and logistics and, logistics and, and making that financially impossible um, so this is an opportunity for me to um, be creative in for a, a, a finite group five six thousand people and create something that is for me fresh there's a through line to the story or to the show that's really about um, the power of nature the Niagara region and and human nature and uh, the rarest of elements uh, bronze silver and gold and yes. the, that quest for um, perfection. You mentioned Kirsten Moore Towers and new partner yes. Michael Marinero. Do you have a soft spot, Miss Former Pair Skater, for the Pair oh, Skaters? I, absolutely I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Pair Skater through and through and I have a thought, soft spot for all of them um, and I'm, I'm particularly proud of uh, the Canadian pairs, all of them. Um, they've just been outstanding these last few years. They're outstanding at the Olympics and Worlds and I just think it's a wonderful thing that uh, Pair skating has become so strong in Canada. Now tell me a little bit about your long-standing uh, relationships with Kurt Browning oh, and yeah. Katya Gordieva. Yeah, What's yeah. it like to work with them? Well, um, 
Kurt. I mean, who isn't in love with Kurt Browning? Um, I am. Exactly. And, and he's, he's, he's my buddy. He's my, my dear, dear friend. I can count on him for anything. And we have fun together. We have, I mean, he, he's one of the few people in the world who makes me laugh from my belly. And so I look forward to working with him on the ice. He's a consummate professional. We've got, I, we've got all sorts of ideas and he's going to be working with, with uh, Nexus on the ice. And, and I just know, and he's, he's also going to skate with NAM, he and NAM will skate together and it's just it's just fun and it's it's wonderful quality as well and we all love him and, and there's good reason. And then with Katya, well I mean Katya is one of our skating goddesses. She just Absolutely. Is. She's she's such a special human being. She's as we all know she's been through so much and um, as a person it's never changed her and I've I've known her for well I mean, since um, forever. Since forever, yes. And when we all fell in love with her back in '88 at, in Calgary, when she was just what 15 or 16, and um, she's just also a dear friend. And then when she came back to uh, work with us in Battle of the Blades, that was just such a treat. And any chance I have to work with Katya, I will. She's she's uh, the consummate professional, and what she brings to the ice is. Um, magical. Well, and you know what? You bring magic to the ice as well. Uh, one last thing. What do you still love about shows and uh, producing shows and choreographing? What is the thing yeah, that really draws you? You know, I was thinking about that and I've sort of come full circle because when I was a little girl, my mom used to take me to ice capades and I, you know, teeny little, I always wanted to be in the front row because I would really, I really hoped that the spotlight would hit me. <laughs> And that, and that suddenly someone would know that I skated and would invite me to perform. And now I'm kind of back there wanting to do, wanting to work on shows that involve more than competitive skating. Competitive skating is fabulous. And I had incredible years with Boitano Vit and Stars on Ice creating shows for only competitors. But now I'm pushing out and looking at, um, looking at, what the possibilities are on the ice, that it's more than just that. That is fabulous, but there's so much more and there's so many different ways of expressing yourself on the ice. And so I'm, and I think Battle of the Blades taught me that. Yeah. Just the hockey players reminded me how fascinating figure skating is and how much fun it is to express yourself however you want. So that's that's why I'm still kicking. <laughs> Do you know what? People are going to love this show. It's January 30th in St. Catharines Skate Niagara Ice Show. You can get tickets on Ticketmaster.ca. There's even a Facebook page that I'll link to from here. Sandra Bezik, thank you for talking to me. This has been a real thank treat. You, TJ. Good luck with the show. Thanks a lot.